I get to control spacecraft that are up in space. That's a pretty cool thing. Have you ever seen aliens? <laughs> no, we've never seen aliens. Um, we do see some weird stuff, but I'm pretty sure most of it's either human or it's uh, something natural from the earth. But, you know, there's a good chance that they're out there. What's the best part of your job? There's a lot of really cool parts of my job. I think the, the favorite part of my job, uh, we get to this every couple of months. Uh, basically what we do is we help a company like SpaceX launch a satellite into orbit. They'll launch the rocket and then about 20 minutes later, we're normally the first place in the world that picks up a satellite that's just come off the rocket. Have you ever wanted to go to space? Like I know when I was around six and seven, I always wanted to go to space. <laughs> I feel like everyone still wants to go to space. It's just whether they've been realistic about whether they can actually go to space or not. When I was at university, we actually had a poster on the wall that it said, what did presidents, rock stars and movie stars want to be when they grew up? And a big picture of an astronaut there. But you know, satellite control, I get to control spacecraft that are up in space. That's a pretty cool thing. Satellites. What we do is we use big radio antennas which really focuses a radio signal on the satellite and then in our control room we have computers where we send various commands that we need to the spacecraft. If you've ever seen a picture of the inside of mission control at Houston, that's what my job looks like. Why did you go in the army? I joined the Air Force for I guess similar reasons for why I wanted to get into the space program. It's just a really interesting, exciting job. I did spend eight months in Afghanistan in 2011, which was uh, quite a dangerous year. Uh, that year, there were nine Australians killed in Afghanistan. So while I was there, I was sort of locked down into one or two buildings. We, we couldn't go much further than that because it was too dangerous. And we always had that little bit of, you know, that it's in the back of your mind that something could kill you while you're there. And that's very much what it's been like uh, with the coronavirus, you know, it's People are stuck at home, they can't go very far, and there's this disease that's out there which can kill people. So that gives a bit of an idea of what it was like. What made you follow your dreams? So I guess like, during my career, I traveled all over the world, including Boston, and there's two universities there right next to each other, which are Harvard and MIT, which are obviously two of the, the best universities in the world. And while I was there, I kind of thought, it'd be cool to go to one of these universities one day. And that was about the time that I heard of this scholarship that I was awarded, which was the Monash Scholarship. So I applied for the scholarship because it was going to be a great opportunity to go after what I wanted to achieve. I live in a small town and I want to become an engineer. How do I do that? It doesn't really matter where you've come from. You just have to have the right subjects to get into the universities. Speak to your teachers to say that you're interested in becoming an engineer and the standard things you get taught will help. But if they can give you some extra material if you want to study some more, uh, that's a good way to do it. What was the hard, hardest part about getting to where you are today? There's a lot of hard work that you need to do. I mean, there's a lot of hard work in, in everything you'll do in life. But the hardest part was doing that work when I could have been doing other stuff that maybe was more fun at the time. To succeed in something ab above what other people are doing, you'll have to spend more time getting good at it, which means that maybe less time playing games on a PlayStation or just hanging out with friends, which that can be quite hard. But I can guarantee if you don't chase your dreams, you're not going to achieve your dreams. <laughs>